In today's video, I'm gonna let you know why we've continued to see weakness in a lot of these crypto mining stocks. This includes companies like High Blockchain, Marathon, Riot, and also Hut8. Let's get right into the video. The overall market today was, eh, it was kind of neutral. Nothing too crazy happened. The Dow Jones is up around 13 basis points. The S&P is also up around 12 basis points and the NASDAQ unfortunately did show weakness today. Most importantly though, the Russell 2K, which measures a lot of smaller capitalization companies, AKA smaller companies like these crypto miners, was down around 1.63% which underperformed severely, especially compared to a lot of the other indices. We've continued to see a lot of weakness in crypto mining stocks. MicroStrategy is down around 3.5% today. Riot is down close to 5%. Marathon is also down close to 5%. And finally, Hive Blockchain is down around 2.5% not a great day to be in crypto mining stocks. It's also important to understand that over the past week or two, we've continued to see a lot of weakness in cryptocurrencies. We continue to see such a sell-off in these companies really has to do with the fact that a lot of investors are unsure about the future of the stock market. We have concerns about the labor market, about inflation, about the overall valuation of companies. All this is weighing heavy on a lot of investors. We've also seen a very notable shift from smaller capitalization companies into bigger tech and growth companies. This is why a lot of companies like Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, and so forth have continued to go upwards over the past couple of days, while a lot of smaller capitalization companies have continued to sell off. Investors are looking for safety and assurance and are not prepared to bet on the future of a lot of these companies. Even though over the past couple of months, a lot of these tech stocks, as I mentioned, like Google, like Amazon, like Facebook, like Apple, they've really been neutral over the past couple of months, but now there's finally a rebirth in energy and a lot of investors are flocking that way. Investors and traders are now shifting their priority. They want organic growth and they want predictable growth. No one's willing to really bet on smaller capitalization companies that have not yet proved themselves. And even though to us that are invested in a lot of these companies, not all of them are great, but some of them are truly fantastic. Investors, you know what, just don't want to give them the opportunity and they just want safety at this point at least. And of course, a lot of investors and a lot of traders have become less optimistic about the state of the economy. They're not sure that it's going to recover the way that it did pre-pandemic. The economic data that we've been getting over the past couple of weeks have really not been that great. And on top of that, we're also dealing with a second strain, the Delta variant of COVID-19, which has people really on their feet. Even though the S&P and the NASDAQ seem to be green basically every day, a lot of mining stocks have continued to drop. And this is because of the fact that only a handful of these big tech companies are actually contributing to these indices. The fact that companies like Apple, like Google, like Facebook have continued to go up gives us the illusion that the market is continuing to go up as well. But even if you take a look at most stocks today, most stocks have actually sold off. Something to note as well, we're seeing a ton of weakness in bond yields. Not to complicate this too much, but lower bond yields are actually very good for growth and technology stocks. The fact that we have someone like Jerome Powell come out and say that the economic policy that we have right now when it comes to money printing is going to be in place for the near future. This has sent bond yields down even further, meaning that a lot of these growth and tech companies should continue to go upwards. That's why we're seeing so much momentum with companies like Facebook and Google and Apple. People are looking for sustainable growth, something that's predictable and something that is safe. These low yields when it comes to bonds have really changed people's outlooks on tech stocks and people are a lot more optimistic about their futures. They're optimistic about their earning potential and also about their growth. Okay, so we've established the fact that a lot of investors want something more predictable and are looking for companies with sustainable and organic growth. They want safety and predictability. On top of that, guys, we've seen a pretty significant weakness in cryptocurrencies in general. Bitcoin has really struggled to recover back to the levels that it was two to three months ago. And Ethereum was trading around 4,000 USD per coin, is now trading at less than 2,000. Times are changing for now at least, and we've seen a lot of weakness in these cryptocurrencies. Of course, it should be a no-brainer. As the price of these cryptocurrencies go down, so does the valuation of a lot of our favorite mining stocks. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's incredibly painful. I am invested in this space. I am a shareholder of Hive Blockchain, and it's not great to see your investment constantly dwindle, but it's part of the process. So far, we're halfway through the year, and it hasn't been the greatest return on that stock specifically, but I am very optimistic about the company, and I'm also optimistic about the outlook of cryptocurrencies. We do have to take into consideration, even with the sell-off that we've seen over the past couple of months, Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are still up 
quite significantly compared to last year. The same thing with these mining stocks, even though they've sold off quite aggressively, they're still up very significantly. So take that into consideration. What does this mean for us going forward? I think over the next couple of months, we will continue to see weakness in a lot of these companies and a lot of these cryptocurrencies. But if you're truly a long-term investor and you genuinely believe in the fundamentals of these companies and the long-term vision, then holding on to the companies, for me at least, is really not that challenging. And I came into this space fully aware of that. And it's a big reason why mining stocks are no more than 6% of my total portfolio. A big change that I'm doing to my portfolio as well, instead of buying the dip on a lot of these mining stocks, I'm choosing to buy the cryptocurrency itself directly. Because ultimately for us that own mining stocks, crypto mining stocks, ultimately guys, we're bullish on the cryptocurrency itself. The reason that you're in these companies is because you believe that crypto assets and cryptocurrencies are going to increase in the future. Unless you disagree with me on that, but I'm sure that most of you guys are on the same page here. It also means that I don't have to be as worried about the company's management. I don't have to worry about them fulfilling their promises and I don't have to worry about any scandals or any politics involved in that space. I'm betting on the cryptocurrency itself, which in my opinion is at this point a safer bet. In this portion, we're gonna do some quick technical analysis. I'll show you some key resistance and support levels. This will include stock like Hive Blockchain, Marathon, and also Riot. Let's get right into it. Of course, the website that I'm using is called tradingview.com, and this is a fantastic website for a lot of new investors that are trying to get in this space. This video is not monetized and I'm not being paid to say that. Now, Hive does, does trade under two ticker symbols. For those of you in Canada, it trades under HIVE in the Canadian dollar and HVBT under the NASDAQ. So for anyone that's outside of Canada, HVBT is the stock that you're probably trading. Now, let's go to Hive, which is again in Canadian dollars. The strongest support level and most obvious one that we have on the chart is going to be around, it's exactly where we closed off today. So around that $2.90 mark. This is gonna be a very significant level for Hive blockchain. If we do bounce up against this level, that's gonna be great news. However, the next couple of days are gonna be very telling. If we break this point, we could continue to see some significant losses in this specific stock. So as I mentioned, we're on a very significant level of support. Pay attention to the next couple of days to see how all this plays out. If we do see a bounce back, the next area of resistance that I see here on the chart is gonna be around this level right here. So it's gonna be around the $3.35 to 40 cent mark right here in the yellow. For Marathon Digital, it is currently at the price of $24.64. The line in yellow is the next area of resistance, meaning that we could potentially see some difficulty with the stock breaking this point. But the key area of support is also, just like Hive, it's sitting at that line basically exactly. It's sitting at that $2.50 to 60 cent level. So also, over the next couple of days, this is gonna be a very important level for us to pay attention to. If we are not able to hold this support level, we will continue to see losses in this company. Folks, when it comes to Riot, and this does trade under the US dollar, so it's currently at the price of $28.59, the next area of resistance where we could see a challenge with this company breaking this level is gonna be around the $31 level. Now, the next area of support that we see with this company, just like Hive and just like Marathon, we're also sitting on a very key level of support, which is going to be around this red line right here. So this level right here, which is around the $28.60 mark. If we are unable to hold this level, we will continue to see losses in this specific stock and I understand a lot of you are going to dislike this video because it's not the most bullish video that I've put out there, but it's really important for us for us to be realistic about how things are playing out. I don't wanna be dishonest to you and I don't wanna to lie to you. It's important that we're transparent and change with the times. We have to change as the market is changing. I hope this video has brought you some level of value and I hope you have a better picture as to why we're seeing uh, such weakness in these stocks over the past couple of weeks. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for your continued support. Have an awesome day.